Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Oh my goodness. I'll kill him. Uh, that motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? Ugh. God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. Where's Beast? What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? <sighs> shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Um... Crane has been stalking Snow White. The room is covered in evidence. I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B! Hmm, okay. Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her. But. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. What? Buckingham Bridge, 10, 28 p.m. <sighs> I'm uh, honored to be asked to speak to you. All right, welcome back, y'all. Lily had many friends. So, we just found out that Crane is out here doing freaky here, stuff. <laughs> You were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that... that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that... that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. How she carried a really torch for the old ways, it. for tradition, really for um, pageantry. And most of all, it seems how Lily loved 
dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Okay. So I think now will be a good time to say something. We need to leave. Sorry, but I have to go. Or we have to go. I'm sorry, Snow, but we have to leave. Not right now. No, you don't understand. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Snow to finish. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie and say you'll check first? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Holly, it's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. I won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. She's upset, so... I don't want to upset her even more. This better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. I thought... I thought you should be the first to know. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? There's pictures. Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong... It would mean more than our jobs. Should I show We'd her? Get kicked out of Fable Town for messing all of this up so badly. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him. He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. Holly. 
How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? No? Nerissa! Yeah, uh, coming! Constable? Wait, 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 easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. Now is really not the time for whatever you Jergovs are planning to do. What? Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just so take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just That's what I was about to say. You work for Crane? For a few short days. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No. See now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So y'all so are gonna be? With Crane. We have a deal. You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours. Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. What's Just it don't gonna hurt nobody. Be? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please rest easy. This is not. What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby, and we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? Settle down, settle down now. Yeah, everyone just stay where you are, nice and natural, like we're just out having a spring picnic. Stop this shit, right now. He hasn't exactly been a good sport about this. Not making our lives any easier. <laughs> Oh, what did my I God. tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Polly, don't move. It's not worth it. Yeah. Listen um, to your lady now. Things are calm down, have Holly. to turn sloppy I now. I need to calm the situation. Calm down, Holly. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Holly! Girl! Holly! Oh my god! Ah, I got it, dumb! I tried to calm the situation. I tried to calm the situation. No, I feel like it's my fault. Oh my God, bro. I don't know if I could have prevented that. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. And try and get some rest. How's everyone else? They all make it? 
They're fine. Good. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Hmm. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then, very good. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. That was intense. I should have went after his gun instead of going after so, me. So, to recap. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. And then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I... Guess that's the plan currently. Crazy but anyway, any other I, I leads? don't know. Let's just wait for the mirror. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just. I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if. I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? You know what? I'm happy she said that because I'm thinking the same thing, which is kind of crazy, but okay. I do believe that Crane is maybe using um, Glamour to fulfill his fantasies. Yes, I do believe that. We've seen a picture of it, obviously. But do I believe that he is the one going around killing all these people? I'm not 100% sold that he's killing people, but... I don't know. I feel like he's in cahoots, Crane. Um, I feel like he's in cahoots with like a lot of people, bad people. And that's all I think for now, but I kind of have an idea of who he might be working with, but I don't want to say who I think it is, but we're going to see. Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. I don't think... I don't Just know. It doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Okay. Why? What's on your mind? It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that Maybe, in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. No. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's I didn't horrible, think you would respond like that. <laughs> wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. I didn't, I didn't think you would react like that. Uh, guys, we have a problem. Damn. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Ooh. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh, 
It's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how Can long I that do will that? take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No, we can't depend on the mirror. Just forget it. I'll find him myself. How? We don't know where he went. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know Never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Buffkin is adorable. <laughs> I like Buffkin. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow blammers from. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Why didn't you stop him? See anything else? It's not your fault. Um... You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. It's not Look, your fault. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. Absolutely. I like Buffkin, dude. <laughs> Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Thank you, Buffkin. All right. Um, let's see. Before I talk to Snow, let me just look around. Look around. Look around. If there's anything? I don't want to miss nothing. So, um, can I go this way? Oh, okay. The desk. <sighs> it's about. Oh, okay. Ooh. Some keys. <gasps> what is it? It's hotel key room. Peter's room at the Open Arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. Or the hotel room key. <laughs> I want to know. I need to know. A lot of blood and I'm flowers. Just telling the truth. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? You shouldn't have known. What else is there? We'll get him. Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. Yes, we will. Come on, let's keep looking. Are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the resident, and I have to admit I can see why. Um, the farm should not be a punishment. I am sure you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority. Best Waylon Smith. Waylon Smith. Hmm. All right, open. What does that say? The office of. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. 
Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. Put the booze down, Buffkin. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, This isn't but... your concern. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. <laughs> Define help. You're not needed here. Just ignore him. Ignore me? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you are oh, chosen to run to this office. Down. Who elected you Less. to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spin my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Snow, you alright? Can you, can you Alright, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us... A few short hours to find out who it is, and where they live, and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. 2 a.m. Piece of cake. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address, or a phone number, or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted <laughs> enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. I don't know what to pick. Oh my god, man, why is this so hard? I'm not gonna say nothing. I I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Uh, we can't just let Bluebeard run a mock in Crane's place. Ha! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since uh, that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? I gotta choose between Snow and Bluebeard. 
I'm gonna go with snow. So oh! We leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. I'm not on a timer, right? God. Okay. Okay, so... I'm gonna do... Okay, I'm gonna go to Crane. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Okay, so we are here at the penthouse room 1901. This is Briar Rose's place. Okay, what about over here? Snow said Crane lives in 1903. Anyone in there? Why is the door open? Oh, no funny stuff. Crane? Witch here. Okay. So I thought I was on a timer. I want to look around. Math, science, history. I had to guess. Ooh. This shit didn't work. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. why but in this episode i'm just like extremely like nervous and on edge because i don't want to make the wrong choices like it's kind of getting down to the wire same brand we found in the open arms but i'm not convinced that crane is killing these prostitutes i'm really not there's a message can I listen to it? Can I listen to it? Crane. Look, the crooked man is a happy compadre, and as much as I like making house calls, I have better ways to use my time. So, if you can go ahead and pay him by Friday, that would be great. All right? Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, leave the light on. This hasn't been used in years. I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. Why would he have that? Isn't that the headless horseman? Horseman. Hmm. Wait a minute, the headlet. Whoa, wait a minute. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. I'm not watching you work. Ooh. I'm unable to control myself. It's because I love you. so weird because he's like mean to her be careful wolf because somebody crooked man this is all i could get i'm afraid snow will start to notice 
I'll have the rest for you next week, Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? Take this key, though. Might be useful. This music is too intense for me. <laughs> I don't do well under pressure. All right, so let me go back to that statue. Was there anything else I could do with that? Just besides looking at it. It's a headless horseman, eh? Very, very, very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. So, I don't want to miss nothing. Hold on. Hold on. So, I think I already looked at that. Is this Okay, bedroom door. Nothing else over here. Okay, let's go to the bedroom. Oh, I can use my key. Uh, let's use the key. there I said don't move uh, I uh Jack wow the don't move it is just unbelievable running into you here I mean of all the places why are you here weather, right a little damp I guess but you know some people like that sort of thing you know I've always wondered do you get that wet dog smell when it rains do you have to wear a poncho? What are you doing here? Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need no. the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> okay! <laughs> You got me. Just take it don't easy. Don't lie to me. Tell don't me why you're really here. I'd don't like to keep to all my teeth. I don't like being lied to. Okay, okay. Well? I heard Crane was leaving town. I oh. figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. So you're You looted. heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? And you heard this from? What does it matter? I hear things. What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Are you working for Crane? And tell the truth. No, I'm not working for anybody. Just take it easy. <clears throat> oh yeah, be careful. You got a bummed arm. You know, this tortured, lonely pig-eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just um, wandering around? Oh, right, thank apartment? you. None of your business. I mean, what's the point? What are um, you looking for? None That's of your not business. something you need to know. Sure. Because it's not your business. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. I may not know why you're here, but... I doubt it. I'm listening. What do you mean? If it's information you want, I'm the guy to ask. What do you mean? Look, I have some dirt on Crane you might be interested in. Word on the street Don't lie to me. says he's got a witch in the city. Okay. I can tell you who she is, if you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. All right. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on. What do you say? I'll make the deal. I'll make the deal. Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. Tell me where I can find this witch. <laughs> Str 
strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for. Yeah, don't lie to if me. he's not going to the 13th floor, it's got to be something illegal. I hope you're not lying to me, Jack. Scout's on her, Sheriff. The thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. I mean, a location right. would be nice. I'll keep my eyes open. Whatever. I guess I could look if I around. find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. I'm not trying to work with you like that. <sighs> It was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, yeah, what you take? Come on. Did we get to see what he took? Silverware? Oh, glamour too? The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? <laughs> that is The witch funny, uses the white deer on everything. <laughs> Her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. Hand them over. You seem nervous. Wanna try that again? You want to try that again? You a that whole it? lie. Pick me? Who's that? Snow? Are you still here? 